Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Thursday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in a few decks of cards to connect with the energy today around you, your special person and your special divine amazing journey. So we're going to see what's coming in. But before I shuffle, I just want to give you an intuitive message about your ear chakras. When we go through ear chakra activation, we may go through ringing in the ears. You may have downloads, you may find that you go deaf in one ear. You feel like you're underwater, you may have pain in your ear, or you may feel like your ears are adjusting in some way to receive powerful insights. And that's really what I'm connecting with right now. And what they're giving me is a little bit of ear pain. And if you are experiencing that and your person is in a karmic situation, I feel that's your sign about arguments with that person. So I feel there's arguing going on right now. So if you're not with that person, you know, you are being protected right now from outside drama. So see it as divine protection and divine intervention. If you are also having an argument with someone around you, you know, maybe you fell out with a family member, you may be having ear pain. But I feel that ear chakra activation is coming in, so you're able to receive very powerfully all the signs and all the messages coming through to you through this reading today or any other information you get through music or in any other, you know, powerful way through your Claire audience. So when we go through ear chakra activation, it's so we can receive the right messages in the right way at the right time. So we're able to listen with love instead of reacting with fear. And when we get ear issues, when problems arise, it's because we may not like what's being heard. So there may also be things coming into your awareness that you are working through for your healing and growth. So just be aware of your ears, you know, if you're having any red ears or any burning ears or any ear chakra activation, that's the reason why. So let's connect and see what we need to know. So the energy around you today, we've got one card. <clears throat> they are giving me again that throat chakra block and that show throat chakra healing because communication is on the way. And also because we're being prepared for the next step. So big shifts are taking place. Now I'm going to use the Divine Masculine Message Tarot as well to get a message from them to you today. Jumped on the camera. And we're going to use the Feminine Message Tarot to bring in a message for you. Okay, so what's going on with you? Again, one card flew out of the deck here. That's the message for you. And remember, it doesn't matter whether you see yourself as the masculine or the feminine. We're going to connect with your energy, their energy, and the energy around the journey. So for the energy around the journey, I'm going to bring in the message tarot. So what's the energy around the journey today? What's the energy? We've got two cards or three cards there. And I'm going to bring in as well the twin flame oracle. So what's the energy around you right now? Flying out of the deck, we've got three cards. These are the cards for you. What's the energy around them today? One card and the energy around the journey. Look at that falling on the, falling over the camera there, flowing out, taking a leap of faith, which is absolutely what that card says there. And you start and we know that's coming in. So let's connect and see what we need to know. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. Remember, if you're experiencing any cold or flu-like symptoms, it's because of this energy upgrade ready for this new start. So the energy around you, yeah, I'm not surprised this card's come up. We've got ascension. And ascension is where we are being prepared physically, emotionally and mentally for the next stage of our journey. And when we go through ascension, we go through physical symptoms. And this is what I'm experiencing right now and what I'm talking about. So I definitely feel there is an ear chakra activation. So you receive the right messages. So there could be some ear pain or ear issues taking place. There could be some cold or flu-like symptoms. So don't worry or stress over that. Just know you're being protected and you are safe. But it could be anything else. That's the whole reason why... I created the Twin Flames Ascension Oracle deck to explain why you go through the certain physical things you do and what it means for your journey. So if you do want to connect with any other physical symptom right now, if you go to my playlist, my decks and events, you can find the Twin Flame Ascension Oracle walkthrough and that will explain what you're going through and why. But this is definitely a big message about ascension and moving towards the next level of your journey, which makes absolute sense with the Leap of Faith card and the new start card coming out as well. So what else do you need to know on your journey? To have compassion. So you're ascending on your journey so you can be kind and gentle. So you can 
embody unconditional love and Jesus is helping you with that right now so you can have compassion for yourself and your person and others including any karmic people like karmic partners or family members or friends so be kind and gentle to others to forgive and release the past so you're ascending now because you're forgiving and releasing the past and that means you're ready now for the next stage of your journey. And I definitely feel those of you that have really struggled with forgiveness and now finding it in your heart to forgive. You are now in this energy of releasing because you know that to move forward together and to have the beautiful life together that you desire, you have to forgive them and you have to forgive yourself and you have to forgive and release the past. So this is about being aware of the changes and that's going to create the way for this journey to come back to life. So you're going through a rebirth right now. And ascension is also a rebirth. When we are reborn, it can feel very hard and painful and scary. Think about the caterpillar. It goes into the chrysalis and it gets reborn as a butterfly. But it's not an easy journey. It goes through a dark night of the soul in that chrysalis. And if anyone breaks open the chrysalis, it won't grow properly. It really is all about surrender. So you are coming back to life and so is your person and so is your journey together. This is a big message about reunion, rekindling the connection. It's about reuniting, you know, that rebirth energy that's flowing in, a resurrection, things coming back to life, things beginning again, a new start, a fresh start, a leap of faith. And this is because you're learning to surrender. And I spoke about this before, you know, I spoke about it a number of times. Imagine that you've got a cake mix and you're putting into that cake bowl all the things that you desire, all the things that you want, your favorite cake you are manifesting. So you're putting all your ingredients into that mixing bowl, you're mixing it up and then you put it into the cake tin and then you put it into the oven and you have to trust the oven to bake that cake. You have to give it to the oven. And the oven is really like the universe. So when you're putting all the things you want into that cake mix and that cake bowl, that's you setting your intentions. That's you asking the universe for what you want. And when you put the intention out to the universe, you are really putting it into the oven and giving the universe the opportunity to make it happen. Now, if you keep opening the oven door, your cake isn't going to rise properly. In fact, it's not going to rise at all. It may not even taste good. But if you trust that the oven will do what it needs to do in the time it needs to take, when you take the oven out of the when you take the cake out of the oven, it's going to taste amazing. It's going to be everything you wanted it to be. So remember that are you allowing the universe right now to work on your behalf, or are you running around worrying about it? You know, imagine you give an order to the waitress in a restaurant and you say, Okay, I want I want this meal. Say you want lasagna and chips or whatever it is. You give it to the restaurant and the restaurant, you know, they're going to create it for you. You don't go into the into the kitchen chasing around the chef saying, are you cooking my food? What are you doing? Are you doing my chips? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? You have faith that when it's ready, it will be delivered to you. So remember that when you start worrying, think, OK, I'm not going to worry anymore. You know, imagine what Gordon Ramsay would do if you went into one of his restaurants and didn't trust him to bring your food. It would cause more problems. You'd even get sworn at. So this is reminding you sometimes we get in our own way by not trusting the universe to do its job. And the universe is saying to you today, your journey is coming back to life. And you know in your heart that your person is loyal to you. You do. Even if they are in a karmic relationship, you know they are loyal to you. You know they're your king of wands. You know they desire you. You know they love you and that they want you, no matter how things seem on the surface. So this is really about trusting the love. Now, the energy around them today, they're asking you to not give up. And they're giving me fear. You know, while they're working through their fears, while they're going through their struggles, please don't give up on me. So if you're seeing polar bears, that's a message for you to persevere. And they are saying to you, I'm not going to give up on our love. I have faith in it. I just need to be able to give to you everything that you give to me. So they need to be in a more balanced energy when they are giving to you. They need to be more balanced in their approach with you. They need to be able to give equally the love, 
Maybe it's financial support to whatever it is to be with you. And that's why they are working on their abundance. So I feel a lot of them have gone away to sort out their finances or to work on allowing love in, being ready for you because they need to feel worthy of you and not like they are failing you. They certainly don't need to feel like a failure. So that's what they've gone away to heal. And that's why a new start is coming in because this is the energy they are moving into. They want to take that leap of faith to you. They want a new start with you. This is what the universe is bringing to you. And the 5D connection you share, which is cosmic right now, dreaming of each other, feeling each other, receiving signs and synchronicities about each other, is showing you this truth. You know, you're meeting up on the astral realms right now to talk and make love. And that's why you may be having very vivid dreams. You may even be having vivid dreams about coming back together, the serendipity of it, that the universe is creating the way, just like magic. There's magic in this connection right now. That's why you need to listen to this guidance today. And that's another reason why your ear chakras are being activated. So you're able to listen. This is why their ear chakras are being activated. So they're able to listen to you and listen with compassion. And this is also what you're being guided to do. Have faith in this connection right now. Things are falling into place. Things have been healing since Easter. And you know that too. And Easter is also about a rebirth energy. So since Easter, there's been so much change because your person is becoming who they were born to be. They are falling right now so they can stand back up. The divine masculine energy is changing. It's shifting. They are becoming who they were born to be. They don't want drama in their life anymore. They want to leave that behind. They want to feel at peace. You don't want drama in your life anymore. This is why you're being guided to forgive and release and move forward. And you will achieve success. This is the energy as we're moving forward. We've got Easter. We've got May. We've got June. You are going to achieve success. And I feel as we move into June, you're going to be shown this in so many ways. So when you achieve your success, remember who helped you get there and stay grateful. And that means being grateful to yourself for all the lessons and all the challenges and all the obstacles because you're the one that's got you through that. You may have had assistance along the way. That may have been from the angels. It may have been from a guide, but you've got there. You want to be proud of yourself. Remember that. Remember to give yourself a pat on the back and to give yourself your own support because you will achieve success. And this is also a sign that you will get there, whatever it is you want. And this isn't just with love. This isn't just with your person. This is in life. If there's a dream or a goal you are manifesting, it could be an amount of money you want. It could be a career goal right now. It could be a goal to improve your health in some way or to lead a better lifestyle. Whatever it is you're wanting, whatever you are dreaming about, you will achieve success. Maybe you're thinking about a reward you want or you're thinking about some kind of goal. So maybe you are actually thinking about doing an exam or something else you will achieve success or so whatever it is you were thinking about when you're tapping in with this card the light is at the end of the tunnel the sun is shining on you and remember your power who helped you get there your angels who helped you get there your guides who helped you get there you did and your person was pushing you from the astral realms so stay grateful today remember your power and know your truth because you're going through ascension, because you are moving to the next level, that's why you're going through so many physical things, you are about to start again. I hope this helps, have a great day and I'll see you soon.